the young and the restless spoilers. Thanksgiving intrusion. The Newman Ranch was alive with warmth and celebration, a rare moment of unity among the family often embroiled in strife. Victor Newman, the patriarch of the powerful Newman clan, had gone to great lengths to host this Thanksgiving gathering. Family members sat quietly in the grand dining hall, listening intently as the pastor shared words of gratitude and blessings. Outside, the crisp autumn air whispered through the trees, but inside, the mood was festive. Yet, Unbeknownst to the Newmans, a storm was brewing just beyond their circle of trust. In the shadowy corners of the gathering stood a woman no one recognized. Dressed in understated elegance, she appeared to blend in effortlessly, her demeanor calm and her eyes sharp. To the casual observer, she was just another guest. But she wasn't. This stranger wasn't invited. She had a purpose. The Shadow of Jordan the mysterious woman was none other than Jordan Wilson, a figure as cunning as she was dangerous. Disguised almost beyond recognition, Jordan had infiltrated the Newman Thanksgiving feast, her presence cloaked in an aura of mystery. She moved carefully, observing the family as they laughed, shared stories, and reveled in the spirit of the holiday. Jordan's motivations were as complex as the woman herself. On the surface, her appearance might seem to be another calculated move, a chance to spy on the Newmans and gather ammunition for whatever scheme she was hatching. But beneath her icy exterior lay a yearning, a twisted, unfulfilled desire to belong, to feel the joy and connection that the Newman family so clearly exuded. It was this paradoxical mix of malice and longing that made her so dangerous. Her eyes darted from one family member to the next, taking in every detail. Victoria's confident demeanor, Nick's laughter, Nikki's radiant smile, they all fed her simmering resentment. For a brief moment, Jordan allowed herself to imagine being a part of this world, to bask in the happiness she had long been denied. But the fantasy was fleeting, replaced by a bitter resolve. Happiness was a luxury she could never afford, and if she couldn't have it, neither would they. Victor's Suspicion Victor Newman was no fool. Years of battling corporate adversaries and personal betrayals had honed his instincts to a razor's edge. As the evening unfolded, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. The woman standing at the edge of the room caught his attention. Her presence was unremarkable at first glance, yet there was something familiar, something unsettling. Victor's sharp eyes narrowed as he observed her. She seemed too poised, too calculated in her movements. And then, it struck him. It wasn't her face that gave her away. Jordan's disguise had been meticulous, but her mannerisms, her posture, and most damningly, her smile. That smile, sly and practiced, was etched in his memory like a scar. Victor's blood ran cold. He had spent years despising Jordan Wilson, a woman who had brought chaos and destruction to his family. He had thought her gone, defeated, perhaps even dead. Yet here she was, standing in his home, among his family, as though she belonged. His fury boiled beneath the surface. But Victor Newman was not a man who acted impulsively. He would wait, observe, and strike when the moment was right. The photograph later that evening, as the family posed for a group photo, Victor's suspicions deepened. Jordan, cleverly positioning herself at the edge of the crowd, turned her face just enough to avoid being fully captured. But Victor wasn't fooled. When he reviewed the photo on his phone, his sharp eye immediately honed in on her figure. The disguise was effective, but not perfect. Victor's mind raced as he studied the image. The curves of her silhouette, the tilt of her head, it was all too familiar. His memory flashed back to their last encounter, to the moments of hatred and conflict that had defined their relationship. I'd recognize that woman even in the grave, Victor muttered under his breath, his voice a low growl. His hatred for Jordan was a festering wound, one that time had not healed. If she thought she could slip past him unnoticed, she had underestimated him gravely. A dangerous game. As the evening wore on, Victor devised his plan. He wouldn't confront Jordan outright, not yet. To do so would risk alarming her, giving her a chance to escape. Instead, he would bide his time, gathering evidence and ensuring that her presence at the ranch would lead to her downfall. But Jordan was no amateur. She had spent years perfecting her ability to blend in, to manipulate, to survive. Her greatest weapon was her ability to make people underestimate her. As she sipped her wine and watched the Newmans interact, she couldn't help but feel a flicker of satisfaction. 
she believed she had outsmarted them all. What she didn't know was that Victor was already steps ahead, his mind working tirelessly to expose her. The game had begun, and in this battle of wits there could only be one winner. The declaration of war, Victor's resolve was unshakable. This Thanksgiving, a day meant for gratitude and family, had turned into something much darker, a silent declaration of war. For Victor, the stakes were higher than ever. Jordan's presence was not just a threat to him, but to everything he held dear. As the night drew to a close, Victor cast one last glance at the stranger lurking on the outskirts of his family's happiness. His eyes burned with a mixture of anger and determination. He didn't need to say it aloud. The promise was etched into his soul. Whether she's alive or dead, I'll never forget her. And I'll make sure she pays for what she's done. The war between Victor Newman and Jordan Wilson was far from over. Thanksgiving had set the stage, but the true battle was yet to come. Music